In today's video, we will go through the events of 2006 crime drama Death Note. Spoilers ahead, you have been warned. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment on what your favorite part was, and subscribe to our channel for more. It is raining heavily in Tokyo when suddenly a book falls from the sky and lands on the ground. Then we see someone write on a note. A wanted criminal named Yusuke Hibisawa is being chased by police. Yusuke, desperate to escape the police, grabs an innocent girl and points the gun at her head. The police are now warning Yusuke to leave her. All of a sudden, Yusuke collapses down, feeling some strange pain in his chest. Then there is Deputy Director of Foreign Affairs, Katsuyu Seta, who reluctantly comes out of his office where a group of journalists is waiting for him. They question various allegations against him and just like Hibisawa from earlier, he too collapses in front of them. Similarly, there are a series of mysterious deaths happening and the most interesting part is they are all criminals. It is a concern for all newspapers and journalists. These deaths are happening everywhere. Prisoners are dying one by one in their respective cells. Since the deaths are happening on a massive scale throughout the world, the government doubts if it is because of some kind of pathogens. But why only prisoners? Some religious groups claim that it is the god behind all of this, punishing all those sinners. The people speculate that there is someone behind all the deaths and name the unknown person Kira. Kira is now considered an underworld savior by the people. Punishing all the criminals with death, the crowd again has mixed thoughts about him. Some label him as a hero while others think he is no different than other criminals. There is a crowd in the middle of the city watching the news on the billboard. The reporter interrupts the regular program and reports breaking news. A man named Hiromichi Imaizumi has broken into a consumer finance company in Tokyo. The reporter suspects that his huge debt resulted in this law-breaking move. In the middle of the crowd, there is a man who, after hearing this, takes his note out and writes Hiromichi's name on it. It has already been five hours since the criminal has held the bank employees, and three of them have already been killed. But again, amid violence, it is reported that the suspect died all of a sudden. The employees who were held as fugitives claim that the suspect clutched his chest all of a sudden and collapsed. And this happened right after the unknown man wrote the suspect's name on his note. The crowd is again seen praising Kira for this. The unknown man in the crowd is a law student named Light Yagami. A few weeks prior to the incident, Light hacks the Japanese police website and is shocked to see that all the wanted criminals' cases are being dropped. He does not believe this. So to confirm this, he goes to a local bar where one of the culprits confesses that he is set free by the authority. This breaks Light's trust in the law. That night, he finds a book in the middle of the street. The cover has Death Note written on it. On its first page, it is mentioned, whoever's name is written on this notebook will die. Light simply smiles. Just then, he sees news about a murderer. Without any thought, he writes his name in the book. The following day, to his surprise, he finds that the murderer was found dead. He thinks it is just a coincidence. But just to confirm, he writes the name of another criminal whom he met at the club. The criminal instantly collapses in front of him. Taking the note seriously, Light reads the rules written on the note. It says that the note only works when the writer has the person's face in their mind. Moreover, if a cause of death is mentioned within 40 seconds of writing the person's name, it will happen, or the person will die of a heart attack. On his way home, Light meets the god of death, Ryuk. Ryuk is visible to anyone who touches the death note. Ryuk gladly offers Light to use the book. The police are concerned about the rise in deaths. They take help from an unknown agent named L who speaks only through a laptop. He suspects that Kira is from Japan itself. Light is being followed by Ryuk everywhere. The police now make a trap to find his location. L makes a fugitive criminal challenge Kira through a live broadcast. Light, upon listening to his harsh words, with rage writes his name on the book. He instantly dies in front of live TV. It turns out that the conference was broadcasted exclusively in Japan. Now the police know that Kira is from Japan. L challenges Kira to kill him. However, Kira can do nothing because L has never shown his face. L further figures out Kira is a college student by calculating the overall timings of the deaths. The deaths mostly incline with the timetable of a college student. During the time of class, there are no deaths at all. Light comes to know about this investigation by hacking again in the police database and changes his timings for the killings. Because of this, the police doubt that someone from their team supplies Kira with information. Light is walking in the park and suddenly realizes that someone is following him. He becomes more conscious of the killings. Ryuk, in between his talks, tells Light that he gets the remaining years of the victims who die because of the book. The unknown man follows Light everywhere, so Light comes up with an idea. Light and his friend take a bus and the follower comes along. 
He first confronts the follower, but he declines. A criminal on the run tries to take everyone hostage. Light writes on a piece of paper that he is about to do something and gives it to the follower. But the follower reveals that his name is Ray Penber, and he is a trained FBI agent and wants to attack the thug by himself. The criminal picks that fallen piece of paper, which happens to be torn from the death note. Now, Ryuk is visible to him. The thug panics and starts shooting at him to no avail. Eventually, he runs out of bullets and tries to escape. He is running away in a rush. He jumps out of the bus, gets under a car, and dies instantly. It turns out that this was all Light's plan to identify his follower. Light's father is a police officer. The agent follows him because he suspected that his father supplied information to him about L. Now he knows the agent's name is Ray Penber and wants to kill him, Ryuk warns him from taking the step. Light then plans to threaten Ray. He calls him through a transmitter and threatens to kill him. He wants Ray to write all the names of all the FBI agents following him. He then makes him look at all the agents' faces in his database. It turns out that the paper Ray is writing the names on is from the Death Note. All the FBI agents die instantly. Light kills Ray after his work is done. A girl named Naomi runs towards him to save him, but it's too late. Light's father, Suchiru Yagami, is the agent in charge in Japan. He asks all his officers if they would like to drop out of the case in fear of being killed. Everyone leaves the room except for six officers. The agent now wants to meet L. Watari takes the agent to L, who turns out to be a young man. L is highly intelligent and has already figured out that Kira can manipulate the cause of the deaths. L and Mr. Yagami start working together to capture Kira. Naomi is now on her investigation to find out about Kira. At the same time, L finds the footage of Ray's death. Thinking he now has the culprit, he calls Mr. Yagami to share about it. He shared the photographs of the possible culprits with the agent, which were all of his family members. Light's father is shocked to see this. L explains that while dying, the agent was pointing at someone inside the train, and Light was watching him take his last breath. L now wants Mr. Yagami's family under constant surveillance. Light starts to schedule deaths a week early now. Meanwhile, Light and his family are being followed. Naomi confronts Light with suspicion and vows to punish Kira. One day, on returning home, Light finds that someone has already entered his bedroom. Light confirms to Ryuk all his room is filled with cameras and bugs. Mr. Yagami and L are continuously monitoring Light inside his room, but nothing fishy has turned out so far. Mr. Yagami rests assured that Light is innocent, but L insists on continuing with her surveillance. L questions that while monitoring Light, there had been no deaths so far. It is found that there has been a death while Light is being monitored. Mr. Yagami sighs with relief, but L again recalls that Kira can manipulate the death of victims, so now they wait for new deaths. It is the seventh day now. Light and his family are having dinner when his sister questions why their dad is not around for so long. Light explains to her that he is at work. He leaves for his room, locks the door, and unwraps the packet of chips. Munching on it, he studies while being monitored by L and the police. Suddenly, there is news that a new criminal has been arrested and after a short while, he dies due to a heart attack. All of the agents now are relieved that Light is no longer a suspect, but all this time, Light had been writing the criminal's name from inside the bag of chips. L is still suspicious, but orders to take all the cameras and bugs out of Light's room. One day, Naomi calls L and tells him that she can prove that Light Yagami is Kira. Light's friend Shiori calls him to meet up, and Light responds that he would be there in 30 minutes. Light suspects her because she sounds different, and in fact, it is Naomi who was pointing a gun at her and making her call Light. Shiori abruptly cuts the call, and Light instantly rushes out. Light and Shiori were supposed to meet in an art gallery. L and his agents are monitoring the gallery. Light reaches the entrance and calls Shiori, who calls him inside. Mr. Yagami finds out that his son is still being monitored. He gets angry, but L seems very confident that Light is Kira, so he does not take any action. Light finds Naomi pointing a gun at Shiori. Naomi asks Light to confess that he is Kira, otherwise she would kill Shiori. Light denies being Kira and pleads to leave Shiori alone, but Naomi doesn't budge. She knows that Kira cannot kill without a name, so she gives her real name to Light. In between the discussion, the fiancé just looks away, and Shiori tries to escape. In a panic, Naomi accidentally shoots Shiori. Light is in shock. Meanwhile, agents are already at the entrance of the gallery. They hurriedly rush to the crime scene. Light and Shiori kiss their last goodbye before she dies. Light cries in distress. L and Mr. Yagami are still watching this. The agents arrive at the scene. Naomi then points the gun at her head and kills herself. The police come for their aid. 
In the next scene, which was before this incident of deaths, Light is at the church where he finds Naomi's name through her wedding card. Light then carefully writes the whole plot of Naomi's death on the note. Light meets his father after Shiori's death, who apologizes to him for not saving her. As Mr. Yagami leaves the scene, Ryuk arrives. Light then reveals to him that he planned Shiori's death with Naomi. Light was aware that officials carry guns, and having specified the same time of Shiori and his before Naomi's death confirms that the gun beholder would be Naomi. So the timings and place were the same, only their respective story was different. Light killed Shiori to make the officials sympathize and leave him. Ryu calls him the real devil in disguise. Mr. Yagami tries to get Light into the car to take him home when Light requests him to let him join his team with the excuse of killing Kira, the one who was behind Shiori's death. Just then, L arrives at the scene with the same packet of chips that Light used to write the names of criminals earlier. L introduces himself to Light and asks him to join the team to help to capture Kira. The movie ends as the two stand before each other. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel to see more of these movie summaries.